Hi, I'm Chef Rizzo, and I want to take a moment to tell you guys about the most wonderful espresso machine that I have here. It's the Coma Bar. It's got us. And I got it. I got it for such a great price, and it really has been fantastic. It makes an amazing cup of coffee. And I just want to show you a couple things that we drink a lot here in Miami, Florida, which is Café con Leche and Cortadito, which to the rest of the world would be Café Ole and a Macchiato. But I want to show you the Café con Leche first. It's so easy to make, and there really is no guesswork in it. Obviously, you have to make a few adjustments depending on the cups that you have, um, the size that you have, but we're using 2% milk. That's what's recommended for the best frothing action. All you got to do is serve your milk. Just put it here underneath this little guy here. Hit the steam button, okay? So that's your steam button there. Just put it there. Let it start steaming up. And you can leave it alone. It's going to do all the work for you. As it begins to heat the milk, it's going to froth it up for you. Now, if you notice, um, the other tube has this little tube here. This part of the gadget is for when you want to do a cappuccino and you want to make some foam. But in the case of a café con leche or a café au lait, we're not really looking for a lot of foam. What we want is froth. So that's the reason why I'm not using this part of the tube. So you just let it run its course and do its thing. That's it. The milk is nice and frothy. And now I'm just going to take this little capsule here. They come in these really nice little vacuum seal packs. Okay, so they stay fresh for a very long time. And you just put it in here. Put the capsule in. And for café au lait or café con leche, you don't want it to be excessively strong. So instead of going for the short, you would go for the long. Now, if someone were to want a dark café con leche, then you would go for the short one. But we're going to go for the traditional. Just press the button. doing it all for you. It's super frothy, super creamy, super yummy. <laughs> and most importantly, it's perfect every single time. Check that out. Look at that awesome frothiness. So there you go. There's a café con leche. Okay. So we'll put that over here. Now, all right, so the other one I promised to show you was a cortadito, or otherwise known as macchiato, café macchiato, which is basically espresso with a little dollop of milk, steamed milk in it. So you're going to notice that I have a bunch of these little espresso cups on top of the machine. My Coma Bar representative recommended that I do that because the machine keeps it nice and warm, so when your coffee cup is warm, it keeps your coffee a little warmer as you make it. So that's just a little something to keep in mind. I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny little bit of milk to the bottom. I mean, look, it's when I say tiny, I mean tiny, okay? So we're going to froth this up just a little bit. Look how it starts frothing right away. Okay, it does it in no time, so it's already nice and frothy. See that? All you got to do now is take out this little gadget there to hold the, the coffee. Once again, we're going to take one of our capsules, put it in here, and I like them strong, so I'm going to make it strong. But, of course, you can also use the longer one as well, if that's what you prefer.
And just like that, you have a beautiful cafe macchiato. Or un cortadito. I recommend if you're in in Miami, you make sure you call it a cortadito. Otherwise, they won't know what you're talking about. And there you go. Miami's 3 p.m. snap time. <laughs>